gonna restart. I'm gonna get to the next act proper with like the chaos emeralds because we wanna we wanna finish it with the chaos emeralds. Yeah. Wait, Dad. You, you yes. What? That you saw in the next episode. Dad. The, 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 yeah, I mean, it's gonna be an editing joke, don't worry. It will be in there. There we go, Ryan. Okay, you know what? I think we had already reached Act 3. Yeah, we have. I think we had already reached Act 3, and somehow I thought we were on Act 2. Oh, well, whatever. Again, this is a crazy, frenetic <laughs> playthrough where nothing makes sense. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we, we reached that act. Yeah. Yeah, we reached this app. All right. Well, let's see if it glitches out on us again. <laughs> Maybe that's what we should do. We should look up, like, one of, like, the really glitchy Sonic games, like Sonic 06 or uh, Sonic Boom or whatever, and do that for Blade Stalkers. <laughs> and be like, all right, you guys, you've always heard me defend the Sonic games no one likes. Well, it's time for me to agree about some What's of them. That? What if all of our nonsense talk uh -huh. is what glitched out the game? So uh, our, us talking about silly things <laughs> made the game glitch. Yes. Yeah. How does that even work, Wendelin? I have no clue. <laughs> well, what if that's what happened? I don't think that's how it works. Yeah. I don't think that's how it works at all, in fact. But we don't know how we glitch. We don't know if someone purposely made it glitch. I don't... Like Egghead! Seeing as, well, seeing as how the game said, if something like this happens, let me know. And, and, and give me, like, you know, evidence of anything. I'm pretty sure it wasn't intended. And the guy's like, hey, I want to be able to fix any glitches that pop up in the game. So, I, I yeah, don't think it was intentional. What if it was Egghead for, like, real life? If it, was, if it was Dr. Robotic in real life, I'd be scared. Because Dr. Have Robotic ever, shouldn't be real. The, have no. you ever seen the Lost Sonic movie, Matt? Did the they actually one? make it? Like, I know that I know that there was, was a Lost Sonic. No, but hey, they were going to have, like, a kid named, like, Jimmy or whatever in real... He was going to be in the real world. Yeah, because wasn't Sonic, it, um... It was wasn't, like, Kid Penders wrote it, Sonic didn't Extreme. he? Yeah, I didn't Kid Penders so. write it? I believe so, yes. Yeah. I honestly wish Sonic Extreme came out, even though it would have been a really oh, difficult game to play. Mm -hmm. Wait, so you know, there's you like know what? Reconstruction you know, projects you know going on. Oh yeah, like the there's a lot of games like that that like never, guys, never got properly finished, guys, but looked really cool. Guys, yeah, what, hon? What? What Sonic Extreme? Sonic Extreme was a game that was going to come out for the Sega. Was it Sega CD or Sega Saturn? Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn. Okay. Sega. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It was supposed to come out. It was supposed to come out for the Sega Saturn, uh, which is the system that Sega Tasanjiro was the mascot for. Sega Tasanjiro. Yeah, you guys know about Sega Tasanjiro. But um, it was supposed to be the Sonic game for that system, but it never got finished. Sega Tasanjiro. Sega Tasanjiro. Sega Connor, have you ever seen? Did you ever see the commercials? The Japanese. Um, Sega Saturn commercials. Yes, I have. They are so funny. You know the most recent Sega commercials? They brought him back. Yes, they did. They and brought back son. like the son, the son of Sega Tasanjiro. Yeah. Who's the son of Sega Tasanjiro? I think it's just Sega Shiro. I think it's his name. Sega, Sega Shiro. Yeah, I showed you those. Remember? Because like he has to do battle with like the evil villain, and the villain all along was his father, who was trying to train him to be stronger so he could be the new Sega mascot. No. It's really funny. I'll have to show it to you. What about Sega Tanjiro? That's what I'm saying. Sega Shiro is supposed to be Sega Ta Sanjiro's uh, yeah, son. Yeah, but who was the villain in Sega Tanjiro? That's well. Let's say there's in the in the commercials like this evil villain shows up, 
And he's wearing like a... I guess the best way I could try to describe it is almost like a Japanese Darth Vader kind of outfit. Like he's got like a mask yeah. and armor and stuff. Yeah. Like imagine like a Japanese version of the character. And um, he's like, haha, I'm going to destroy Sega. And Sega Shiro has to fight him. And it turns out that it was Sega Tasan Shiro in disguise training him to be stronger so he could be the new Sega mascot. I don't know why I named my machete as a video game Albert Molina. What? I named it. I named the machete in a video game that I've been playing. I named my machete Albert Molina. <laughs> Why not? Was, was that the guy that played Doc Ock in Spider Man? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God! It's Albert Molina. <laughs> Is Albert Molina? I remember, who do you Albert remember the laser Molina? collection, Matt? Do you remember what? The laser collection. Like the laser collection. Who's yeah, it was like I'm the Dark Dark Octopus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't know it, like, by any particular name. I just knew the Dr. Octagonopus meme. Because I had a friend who was obsessed with that meme and would share it with me all the time. Me too. Me But you don't know. Yeah, you're, guys, your mom has never been in any movies or anything like that, no. I think the, the most voice acting she ever did was, like, for one or two, like, Ask Vaudeville videos that I did. Wait, she did? Yeah, she played, like, she was the voice of, um, I think Bon Bon in Who's one of bon them. Bon Bon? She's one of, like, a background characters from My Little Pony. There, I did a crossover with somebody who was doing, like, a Doctor Who story, and Vaudeville... That wasn't me, to be clear. No, no, it was someone else. But, um, Vaudeville, I was, Lyra, like, uh, and Bon Bon. I was, like, when he was... I, or no, probably not your age. Just probably yeah. a little older. But anyway, Vaudeville, Lyra, and Bon 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 got pulled on the adventure, and uh, I did a funny little video to go with it. And uh, your mom was the voice of Bon Bon in it. What? Well, what's his voice? Uh, her voice. Um, your mom just did her normal voice because the, the the doctor needed someone to to do it to distract the um, the Cybermen or the Cyber Ponies in this one, and um, I had him doing like the. You know, dressing up in a grass skirt and singing thing, and um, and Bon Bon just says something like, "This is ridiculous" or something, and the doctor says something really silly in response. So, I don't know exactly. So, 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 yeah, and she just yeah. I think that might be the only video where she did a voice. I think it was just. Yeah. The people who watch that probably just think that it was just. Uh, you were just making a funny voice. Uh, maybe so, honey. I don't know. Your mom didn't. Let's just say your mom didn't really do a funny voice. You just used your normal voice. Yeah. Uh, I, I. Yeah. I do need to talk to you at some point, Matt, about my project because I'm thinking about turning it from a comic into a written story because I'm having trouble maintaining the. Okay, okay. I totally I understand. I I wish I could have been involved in the art process to really flesh it out more, but um, obviously that did not yeah. really pan out. Um, I, think I'm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to write proper chapters like a story, mm -hmm. and then have uh, what I'm going to do going forward is I'm going to have it have like a lot of title, like a main image that conveys that overall what the big thing that happens in the like story. Like a title card, yeah. Yeah, and then have the actual written story yeah, that's, I mean, that's usually, with, with something like that, you always want to script it. Oh, no, doggone it. Okay, darn. Anyway, um, where was I? Um, yeah, anything like that, you want to script it. Like, when I was doing the Dr. X comics, I still scripted them ahead of time, even though there wasn't, like, one long, you know, um, cohesive story. You know, it was mostly just episodic, but still, I scripted it all out ahead of time. Um, even with my, even with, uh, Sales for News, I still script it before I actually write it, or, or draw it. But yeah, again, I'm, I'm upset that I didn't get the chance to, to properly work on it, like, as a comic, because that would have been a lot of fun. Dad, look. Yes, I'm up. I'm also currently, uh, because it's going from a comic to a normal story, I'm also redoing the intended plot just to be a lot easier to translate into Oh, sure, absolutely. Um, yeah, because um, some of the stuff was in there more so because it was just um, necessary for the format. Can I yeah. do something? What do you want to do? So, what do you want to say? So, what, do you do? What, what is it? 
I am Darth Vader, your father. You're Darth Vader? Yes. You don't sound like Darth Vader. You don't sound like Darth Vader at all. <laughs> you just sound like you're just kind of mumbling. You just sound tired. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, as a father in real life, I can say that is basically the 24-7 the attitude. Hi, honey. We're, we're recording, we're, we're properly finishing off Sonic the Hedgehog 2 with the girls. Connor is joining in with us. Um, Hello. Banana Pie was here for the first part and had to go because he got a phone call. He said he'd be back soon, but we've... We've nearly completed the entire game, and he's still not here, oh, so... No. He's never gonna come Those back. Those darn Danes. <laughs> you never <laughs> trust them. what happens when you trust them. Other than they put Legos under your feet while you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I was napping because, um, in the middle of the night, Gwen thought she saw something scary, mm -hmm. so I slept in the bed with her mm -hmm. and Lily. And <laughs> you sound like you did, too. You're like, yep. I had to sleep next to a hyper child. How about you? Honestly, <laughs> honestly they were both pretty chill. I know. You just you sound like really sleepy because you just got up from your nap. Oh, I'm, just, I'm so <laughs> tired still. But now, Banana Pie I told the kids. Banana Pie told Come. the kids if they behave themselves, he'll come what? to visit tonight and bring them bananas. He'll what? show up. He'll show up as Banana Claws and bring them bananas. <laughs> he doesn't want bananas. He'll let me tell you something. Ow, 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 ow. ow. What? Don't grab my shoulder, honey. Be careful there, hon. Stop, stop saying sorry over and over again. I'm going to put my head like this. I'm going to put my head like this. Oh. All right, here we go, guys. This is it. This is the big climactic battle, Silver Sonic and then Eggman here. Oh, no. Yep. Yeah. Man, North train inbound. Get the safety. Pizza Cutter Sonic. Pizza Cutter Sonic, yeah. That's the Metal Sonic prototype. Hey, Egg. Hey, Egg. Hey. You know what? Sue was going to be, like, really mad at you for, for making a robo version of him, right? Nah, Silver, Silver wasn't even a character at this point, hon. Yeah. Yeah, Silver didn't come around until Sonic 2006. The game that everyone, even Sega, wants to pretend never existed, but they keep bringing back the character from it. Do you think they might ever do the same thing with Sonic Frontiers? No, Sonic Frontiers is too popular. Like, Sonic 2006, they don't want to acknowledge because it was an absolute bomb, but Sonic Frontiers is like, it sells like hotcakes. Like, there's plenty of people like us who go, this is a dumb game, but there's also plenty of people like, this is the greatest game ever. Like I said, they like their little emo girl waifu. What can I say? I have a yeah. what? what? But those were your papas. They're NFT yeah, waifu. Like NFT waifu. And you know what? AO came with us eating all the way. Oh, precious cheese balls. Gone forever. Yep, no, we ate a bunch of cheese balls. We can get some oh, more. Oh, careful. Don't touch the microphone. Let's we can get some more. Okay. Okay, you do that. I'll tell you after I pee. Okay. I'll tell you after I pee. <laughs> Other gameplay videos try to hype up the big finale of the game. What does our gameplay video do? I gotta pee! <laughs> I need to get hurt. Yeah, this is the grand finale, Gwen. You want him to you want them to enjoy this ending. I mean, they already got the great commentary of I Need to Pee. They obviously got to have, you know, exciting conversation. No. Robotnik, look at Dr. Robotnik, Gwen. He is a butt joke. Okay. Now we're going to make a butt joke of Dr. Robotnik. Okay. Good. So, so, uh -huh. so, Dr. Wolfonic, he, he does all this bad stuff. Oh, yeah, he does. Because, because everybody has a better butt than him, and, and he knows it. Everyone so, has a better butt than him? Yeah, and he knows it, so he's, so he's really mad because he wants the best oh, butt. Oh, no! He wants 
Dr. Robotnik wants <sighs> the best bite. And then Dr. The Robotnik. Gwendolyn, <laughs> seriously though, look at Dr. Robotnik. Look at that glorious butox. You're gonna tell yeah. me that anyone in the world has a better yeah, butt than Dr. Robotnik himself? Oh, wait, I forgot to say that he worked on some of these, uh, the grand I was giving for stuff. I forgot to say, more like Robotnik. Yeah. Yes. Of course I was gonna say Robotnik. That's like, that's what like, everyone used to call him back in the 90s. Doggone it. I was saving it. Okay. I was saving it. Well, we'll save it yeah. Later. Also, you distracted me and I got killed by Metal Sonic. I hope you're happy. <laughs> Or Silver Dad, Sonic, Dad, I think Dad, that's what that was Dad, called. Or Pseudo Sonic. I don't know. He like Dad. Robot Sonic had like a million Pseudo alternate Sonic names. Was from the comics, I believe. Yeah, but wasn't he called Pseudo? Like I think people Dad. just assumed that was the name of the robot in the game too, was Pseudo Sonic. Dad, I have a yeah, what? How about we just pretend like that 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 um that Silver is a character? Okay. Uh huh. Well, Silver so, is a character now, yeah, at least. Like, how about we look like he is in the game too? Okay. I mean, I don't think Dr. Robotnik would care very much if he offended Silver. He doesn't hey, like Silver. Hey, <laughs> Silver, Silver fights him too. Hey, Dr. Robotnik. Yeah. yeah. If you were friends with 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 Silver, then um, well, he 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 will probably when you fight, you be like making a a Robo version of him, and yeah. You, you would probably regret doing it if you were friends. <laughs> do you know that's, that's, no that's not much do, of a threat, honey. <laughs> um, Dad, do you know your and plus, I mean, you I You would probably turn to, to, to our side. Yeah. You think you would turn to our side because you said that Silver would be upset no. at what he said? No. At what he did, I mean? That, yeah, but he did. I don't think Dr. Robotnik would care. <laughs> you are like... I mean, it's true they usually show him as being kind of like lonely and just wanting friends, but again, the whole joke is that he goes about it entirely the wrong way, you know? Yeah. Why is Dr. Wolfgang Dr. It changes according to the story. It doesn't, it's one of those, you know, I mean, again, Sonic is very silly. It's like an old school cartoon, so the story doesn't always have to be the same. The games have never really given us a solid background for him. The most we know is that he looked Jimmy up. Dogs. Yeah, the game. The most we know is that, like in Sonic Adventure Two, Doctor Robotnik talks about how he he admired his grandfather, who was also a, a great scientist, um, and he wanted to be like him. That's all we really know as far as that goes. But in the different games and comics, or the, the cartoons and comics and stuff. He's been shown as someone who was just always bad or crazy or whatever. Sometimes he's someone who, he's pretty much just a big spoiled brat who wants friends, but he doesn't know how to make them, and so he acts this way, that's sort of the joke. Other times he's, again, like some crazy guy obsessed with robots. It just, it all just depends on the story. Hey, Sonic! I'm your friends. It's robots. Aha, I did it! What's yeah. the story in Sonic Boom? In Sonic Boom? Yeah, what's the story? We don't really have we don't really have a backstory from Sonic Boom. Again, he's kind of portrayed more as just the the selfish guy who wants to rule the world and he wants friends, but he's just bad at it. Yay! I do So there's the end, Gwen. Yeah. Check it out. Eh? Oh. I'm Tails, and I'm working at it. Well, it's Amy, actually. Yeah. The game, normally, the ending of Sonic 2 has Tails flying the plane, but in this in this hack, you can have Sonic and Tails both fighting Robotnik at the end, so instead it's Amy who flies the plane. It looks like Tails. But yes, usually it's Tails who flies the plane. It looks plane. like Tails, too. Sonic it does look, yeah. yeah I mean, Amy... I was gonna say Amy and Tails kind of have the same face shape, but just about everyone in Sonic has the same face shape. Yeah. Except, except SBO. Except SBO. Um, yeah, SBO's got the same face shape too. Um, can we check if um yeah? Can we check if what? If oh, one right. of my friends. Well, there you have it, folks. Sonic Two. Jazz has cereal. The end. <laughs>